gives you a little bit of oh, Trini, but away. only in that bit of the eye. Yeah, just the... Oh my God. <laughs> I wanted to quickly talk to you about um, sort of 40 plus skin. I mean, I guess particularly perimenopausal, but women can be perimenopausal in their, in their 30s, but it gets drier. I remember before I went on HRT and I'm on HRT and I'm very happy on that, but not everybody can go on it. Before I went on HRT, um, my skin got very dry. Mm. I felt like I aged 10 years in a year. It yeah. felt suddenly everything yeah. kind of just, and then I went on this amazing HRT, estrogen back, skin feeling much better but yeah. your products you have got certain sort of really important products that people should be getting to help now i did try this the today. i mean that to me is my sort I of award-winning award-winning product because i i am i've always been obsessed and when you first met me davina I think I still had bad spots. I'd started going on Rakuten, but I had for, from 13 to 30 chronic acne. Now in per perimenopausal stages, I got it back because a lot of women, those levels are going up and down or you're put on supplements and they're the wrong, you know, you're given too much testosterone and suddenly you're thinking, especially women who always had incredible skin, oh my God, I have spots. So I wanted always to have products that would cover your skin, but not make it look like you're wearing makeup. Yeah. yeah. But, but I also had been quite obsessed um, and everything at Trinity London is very skincare led, even though it's a makeup brand. But when people talk about a skincare makeup hybrid, so there's a lot of makeup companies who say, oh, there's skincare makeup hybrid, hybrid, you know. And because I've kind of, when you had a very bad skin, you look much earlier perhaps than other people at the back of ingredients and the levels and where they are on that list, the ingredients is called the inky list. And things that are above 1% have to be at a certain place and below 1% they can be anywhere. It's kind of, it's very smoke and mirrors, but the amount of serums, not even skincare makeup hybrids, where the levels of active ingredients I knew were sort of seven or 8%. And I just thought marketing, schmarketing, what a rip off and not doing anything, just feel nice. You know, you put enough glycerin yes. in a product and silicone and people go, Oh, it's so good for my skin, but it's not doing anything. No. So I kind of knew that. And I, had discovered this ingredient called neurofrolene. And neurofrolene worked on, you know, when we are, especially in perimenopausal menopausal state, our adrenal land, our glands are far more effective. And we release cortisol, a stress-releasing hormone. And when you're very young and you release cortisol, it doesn't have a huge damage on your skin. But when you're older, it sits right on your epidermis and the first thing it does, oddly, is it dehydrates your skin because it's an adrenal release. So you're going to get that like, dry mouth. You know, it's like when you talk a lot. And, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. So you get that feeling. Yeah. So that dry yeah. skin you get yeah. is a bit of that. And I thought, how can I reduce the levels of cortisol on the skin and get that stress out of the skin? So I, I did all these uh, medical um, researches, and they were all done at 2% of neurofrolene. And I said to my N NPD lady, I said, I want 10% of it in there. And she said, Trini, 10% won't necessarily change it. It's just a bigger percentage. And I said, this is so clever at sort of what it does is really kills the cortisol on your, your skin. And what I loved is whenever we put on a serum in a, you know, a lot of women ask me, what order do I do things in a routine? You yes. Know, and, and, and for me, it is you clean your skin to take off the makeup. You clean it again to get the pH a bit better. If you like, you yes. put on an acid, which used to be called a toner, and it can be an AH, pH, or BH, depending on your skin. Then you do a serum. And the serum depends on when you look in the mirror, what bugs you? Is it unevenness? Is it fine lines? Is it dryness, whatever. So you can do a rebuilding thing. You can do a vitamin C evening out skin tone thing, or you can do a, you know, a retinol regeneration of your skin thing. Um, and then you put your moisturizer on and then your SPF. So to date, there'd never been a serum that you put on after all of that. All right. So to have a serum that works after you put it on, that's what I love the idea of and that protected you. Let's go back to the book that you and I both read in the late 80s, Men Are From Mars, Women Men Are From Venus. Venus. Oh, such, such a classic. Such and a classic. in it, um, 
the two things that I really resonated with were that when a man is, that, is in a bad mood, he needs to go into his bear cave and whatever you do going in, just wait till he comes out. That I've learned and I, I, I believe that to be true. Yeah, 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 me too. However metrosexual a man is, he needs that moment. But also that men tend to dress and continue to dress in the style in which they felt they're most sexually successful. Okay. Women tend to wear makeup and stick to that makeup in the decade in which they felt they're most attractive, which is why you might have many women who in the eighties and early nineties did no blusher, heavy bronze, black eyeliner, and that gave them what they needed to feel the confidence to go and conquer the world. 20 years later, skin has changed, textures changed, eyes changed, everything. But they still do it because that's their security and mm. totally understandable. And when mm. I ever do a sort of make under of a woman, it's about letting her see herself without makeup and seeing actually where you're at in this stage without makeup, you look better than the makeup you used to wear. And with the tweak in your makeup, you can look the woman you wish to be. Yes. You know, but I think it is all about, we hold on to things that we really feel made us feel good. And we're holding on to that memory of how good they made us feel. And to let go of that is a very tough thing. Mm. Also, like a lot of, a lot of it is just, um, knowledge like i um, i'm very lucky because i do get made up by somebody and she's constantly showing me different things to do but if i didn't have that i too would be just stuck because i didn't have the knowledge of how to do it any other way but that's what i love about your tutorials now i saw a woman using a product that fills pores i'm trying to find it here yeah, it's, on called, your... it's called miracle blur yeah and i've got it here and it it looks so clever it is so amazing it's i mean we could do it now do you have elevens i've got i've got i could, you can't really see it but i have got quite big pores i'm wondering whether it's pores, from yeah. years of um sun sun abuse well no because you have an olive oily skin so you will have a larger pore i i that's why not but, a larger pore what I've just got a larger pore. I've just got a larger pore, darling. Just, a larger pore. But the thing about it, I wanted, they called America crackle. I wanted polyfiller for my <laughs> face, okay? Polyfiller. So if a woman, like the time when I launched it, the, the most exciting time, because beauty journalists are real. You just look already. They're really, yeah. And you just, you can go in there to your 11s and you fill it in like polyfiller. But here as well, here. Like right there getting rid of the bigger pore there. <gasps> so filling in scars, like I picked a lot of my spots when I was younger. I so mean, it's just, but you wouldn't like, you don't, cause I don't feel like I need to apply it everywhere. No. But I have like zones. So I've got these two zones here yeah. and this zone here. Yeah. And that, that's the only place that I need to put it. But the yeah. other thing about it is that you could think, oh my God, it's going to be like polyfilling it's going to be greasy and cloggy and everything is spotty. It's, it's not, not at it's all. Not. And it also, if you get a bit perimon, like I have something called face finish because I don't believe in powder. So it, it finishes, you know, tones you down. But when I have a woman who's flushing, flushing menopausal, she'll use that. And she knows it's like a safety net all day long. She won't feel too, like, like my grandfather would say, you know, um, horses perspire, um, something sweats and women glow you know yeah authors perspire restless sweat and women glow that was oh, that's so part. good and the other wait, i'm just going to talk about one more product before um i move on to because i want to talk to you about uh, it's the other favorite thing that you do that i absolutely love because i am all about speed yeah so i just literally want to go this is why i love that everywhere yeah. Speed, you know, yeah. do the fill, da, 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 da. no powder. Thanks very much. Lip yeah. and cheeks. Yeah, but have you done it? Also, have you done it? Which color have you got? I'm gonna do it with you. Um, hang on, because I haven't got my. This is where I'm at, Trini. I'm at the glasses. No, I'm, my, glasses I'm, 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 my glasses match my jumper. 
Well, that's brilliant. Um, I'm Freddie. You're Freddie. Okay, so what we're going to do with Freddie here, because this is so good, we're going to do it together. Okay, so this is what I do in a real rush. And it's yeah. even nicer for you because of your eye colour. So you're going to get it like that. Okay. Oh, a lot. And then dab it on your lip there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then you go like that where it's on your fingers in the middle and you make your cheeks go lovely little blusher. But then you should have a tiny bit left. You have a tiny, tiny bit left. Tiny. Okay, tiny. so then what I want you to do, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to put it here a little bit on your eyelids, just in the center of the eyeball, like a bird's nest of the eyeball. Oh. And open your eye. Oh. Because you have brown eyes. Love that. And it gives you a little bit of... Oh, Trini, but away. only in that bit of the eye. Yeah, just there. Oh, my God. I would think you'd need to go all over here. You don't. No, 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 no. And if I'm doing it, like, stronger, so another one, like, what I did, because I'm going to put back on... Do you remember Iron Maiden, Miss Selfridge? Yes. Okay, so I, this is in memory for those uh -huh. women over 40 of Iron Maiden. All right, we kind of loved it. It was like the color I had so many snogs with. Of course, like, yeah, yeah. Can I do that? And there. And then I do on my cheek a little bit. But then on the eye, because my eye's a little bit, because it's bluer, this color. I feel like I'm really... And I'm just gonna put it on there too. God, look, you're just like a... Oh, for pity's sake. And it really gives, it gives See, good color. But this and is then, what I love about it, one pot. One pot. And one then pot. sweetie, sweetie, I just got some moon, sweetie, and I just put moon in the corner. And moon is the lighter one, right? Moon is actually a sort of I've cool got, one. I don't know I've if got, I sent you moon. I've got moon somewhere. Moon might be too light for you because you might be better. I in know. Wait, did I get um? Did I get starlight? Starlight. You could put starlight there. Starlight is a highlighter, but I mean, you put it anywhere. Could I put it there? You could put it there. Hmm. I mean, quite. Oh. It's like a little trick with starlight. I'm going to show you. I'm going to get starlight too because this is a little trick, and I only learned this trick. Oh my god! Can I, I just say, Trini, I'm having the best time ever. I'm so happy you are, my darling. But I'm going to show you this trick that I only learned, um, like, how long ago did I learn it? Two months ago. Yeah. So you take highlighter. Yeah. Because I always used to have makeup artists that would, like, do a kind of highlighter here all across this. Yes. Now, yes. when we go down, this is for the old, over 40-year-old ladies. Yes. When you go down the path of life, unless you've got, I mean, you have phenomenal bone structure because you've got that which is all natural it and so drawn here okay, we'll, we'll get on to your feeling of that yeah, later yeah. to me i just see beautiful bone structure okay, but thanks. what happens is we have this yes the droopy let's with you because you have a lot of no, I, still got it here. yeah still got it. you have a lot of eye real estate all right <laughs> I have less eye real estate. And then depending on what side you sleep, so I sleep on this side, so that will always be the lower side, okay? So what, if you have a tiny brush anywhere, you probably yeah. don't. But no, I, I do, I do. I've I just, just got, oh okay. God. Get a tiny brush. Yeah, yeah, show me what you're doing at okay. the night. And I want you to do this little trick. And I only learned this trick, but I love it. So when you want to lift your eye, instead of putting highlighter, all over the fleshy bit of your eyelid. A lot of people would put it all over there, okay? That's a real 90s thing I'm gonna show you. You know, they do like that. Um, I think this brush might be too tiny. Okay, but no, I want tiny, I want okay. tiny. The women used to do that. And do you see it makes it more fleshy? So yes. when you do um, the tiny bit of raising your fabulous arch, you get that really thin brush and you go only under the hairline of your eyebrow. So take, yes. so if I'm looking here, yes, I'm literally, I'm going to go under the hairline and only under the hairline. Yes. 
And then blend a little bit. And then blend a bit. Oh, yeah. And it just gives a much nicer lifted brow than if you put it all over here and have that sort of, you know, the puffy bit having the shimmer on it. It's just oh, a yeah. look. Look. Exactly. I mean, you. the thing is, not many people have your brow because your brow is like, and most people's brows are doing that. So you're very lucky. You hardly need Love it. That. But for anyone watching who doesn't have your brow, it's a good trick. That's <laughs> so good. Yeah, we go. What's but it was lovely trick? talking to you. Thank you so much for having yeah. me on. And you. Bye. And I'll be calling you. All right. Call me. Love you, Penny.